and years and years. Very successful. Uh, Core is out there having a good time. Hey, Core. Hey, good morning, you guys. It is always a great morning here. You cannot believe how much stuff is stuffed into this warehouse. Boxes and boxes and boxes. And look at all of the happy faces that are stuffed in here as well. Now, these folks, not in uniform, but uh, tell me, what, are, what, are, what is the role of the, those that we see behind us today? The people behind me, and including myself, we are shoppers, so we go around with the police officer. They bring their list of the kids that they're shopping for. We help them pick the three or four gifts, and then we move them out and grab another one until we get through all of the police officers. Well, you do such a great job. Well, let me ask you, what, what, what kinds of stories do you hear year after year from these police officers? Who, who are these families that they're helping? They're all families in need, families that can't maybe maybe can't afford a Christmas for their children. So um, it's a way for the officers, firefighters, to give back to the community that they work in. Yeah, well, it's really fun to watch. Now, uh, how do you decide who you're paired up with? Do you know who you're going to be shopping with today? No, they're always um, randomly paired with us, and they always have a family list for us to. Mm. Um, go and shop for. Now, do a lot of these guys seem to have no idea what they're going to get? Like most men, are they kind of clumsy clowns who don't have any idea what they're supposed to buy for a 12-year-old girl? Not always, but so, not, not always. That would be me. Well, I'm glad you're here to help them along, and um, it's going to be a great deal. We're going to talk with uh, W, as he's called, W. Stephen Martin, who got all of this going many years ago. But look at the size of the shelves. I mean, they haven't uh, yet released the hounds to start their shopping yet, so we're getting a good view at the uh, array of toys. And it's really cool. They've got them all lined up by age and by uh, boy or girl, and it's just the most fun. And these officers have such a good time doing it. Um, some of them have been long timers here, and it's one of, the, uh, one of the days that they enjoy the most. In fact, let's kind of weave our way back here toward uh, W and his gang. Hey, W. What happened to Hello, the organization? Hello, friend. Yet? I know you're all jammed. Good to see you again. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas Welcome to you. Back. Sorry we're just diving in on you live here, but wow, the jacket says it all. I yeah, am, let us take it I'm all in. I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood. You I'm absolutely are. Happy. Well, give us the nuts and bolts again this year. How many years for the program, and how many kids do you think you'll, families will you be helping this year? Well, this is our 33rd year. 33, wow, like a record. And uh, in, in our giving, we'll have about 450 officers. Each officer gets up to 20 children, and they get four toys per child. So... Doing the math, that's a lot of toys and a yeah, lot of kids. Well, where do, where do these toys come from? Who, who, do you, who do you have to thank for all of the inventory we see here? Honestly, it's, it's mostly private families or small groups. They're the ones that see the need and, you know, they have good contact with law enforcement. They know where they're going. They know that one toy can make a difference for that officer mm -hmm. all year long because that kid will tell them what's going on in the neighborhood. Yeah. So it's a great program. It really is. Uh, and I'm going to ask Juan to uh, come back this way with me. We want to dive in on some of your officers here, if you don't mind. Hey, fellas, who's got a family that you can tell us about? We don't need names or anything, but uh, give us an idea of who you're going to be helping this year. Oh, <laughs> don't you like... That's always nice when someone gives you one of these. Uh, who are you going to be talking or so right giving now we to? Have a family in Chandler that we're helping out. So they're uh, being raised by their grandparents, mm -hmm. who they refer to as mom because the parents aren't in the picture. So right. because they are raising their second set of kids, they need all the help they can get, and we're going to help them out today. Well, you, I'm sure you see stories like this all the time. And um, what's it going to? What's it like when those? gifts are handed. Are you ever around to uh, see the follow-up to uh, this kind of a special day? So when I deliver the pick packages, I deliver it to the family and the mm -hmm. kids and uh, the smiles and everything that you see is, you, you, you can't put a price on it and that's, yeah. it's priceless. Well, thanks so much. So, we appreciate your hard work. Thanks thank for keeping you. us safe, everybody. We do appreciate it. All right. Well, more coming up from one of the greatest events of uh, all the Christmas season here in the Valley. 33 years for the W. Stephen Martin uh, Police and Toy Drive. It's a great event, and mm -hmm. um, we love sharing it. It is See great. a little bit. And I'm sorry, I hope I didn't miss this, Corey. Did, did you ask Stephen if he's got a new um, uh, warehouse? Because I know that he was, he, was not, he was losing this warehouse. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll ask him next time uh, yeah. we get together, but 
this place is enormous. It's jam-packed. Uh, they may need more space. No, so. their lease is over. He told us last time we were talking to him, and he said he was looking for a new place. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping maybe a valley oh, we'll business will step up. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Appreciate yeah, well, it. we'll spread the word. Somebody will jump in. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So Corey is live at the annual shopping day at the annual W. Steve Martin, Stephen Martin, that is, event, uh, Police 911 Toy Drive. Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey. Yeah, good morning, you guys. It is such a cool program, and uh, well, this is the name. Don't don't forget it. W. Stephen Martin, longtime and beloved uh, disc jockey here in the Valley, but he's been at this both on his own and now with this larger organization for about 50 years, if you can believe it. And this is uh, Stephen in the uh, red jacket. Good to see you, friend boy. People have been complimenting you behind your back. You're probably not aware of that, um, but. We love what you do. We love your mission. And can you give us an idea? Where does this all spring from? I mean, you could be pouring your energy, and there's a lot of it, uh, into anything. What is it about this that really gets you going? Well, it, it comes down to when I was a little kid, we were very poor. And I had a sheriff's deputy come up to me once after we had uh, a tragedy in our family. And he sat down and he said, you know, Stevie, everything's going to be okay. He said, you can always count on somebody with a patch to be your friend. And I never forgot that. And it just, it meant so much to me. And then through the years, we moved here. My father had died. And when we came out here, I met two police officers. And they said, hey, we'll be your friend if the Scotts Bluff, Nebraska guy said, cool. So <laughs> anyway, because we were really, really poor, and we had people drop off food and toys and everything. I promised my mother someday I would give back, and I wanted to try to do that with a man or a woman in uniform. So it wow. just became the, the police toy drive, 33 years. I've been doing this for 50 years. Boy, thank you for sharing that story. I'd never heard that before. That's so touching and so so moving. Well, I, I want to get the word out because uh, you're here in um, really in the last days at this location, at the end of your five-year lease. You're right. looking for a new location. Right. I think you'd like to kind of stay in the Chandler area, right? Well, we have so many support base people in Chandler, and it doesn't matter where we set up, but we ha this toy drive will end if we don't find a warehouse by the end of January. Okay, and this space was donated to you uh, on a five-year, uh, for a five-year term. And uh, how much space do you have here? Just so we can get the word out to someone who might be able to help you. This is a, a 15 to 18,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes a lot higher than we need, but... Uh -huh. uh, and you're kind of a low-impact tenant, right? Totally. You're just stacking things, totally. right? And, and you have police cars in and out all the time, <laughs> so it keeps it a pretty safe building wherever we happen to be. Uh, we'll pretty much move anywhere. We'll pretty much go anywhere to make this happen or keep it alive. Very good. Well, how can people get in touch with you then? 911toydrive.com, and where it says contact us, just Click in your name and say, call me. I might have a warehouse spot for you or an old storefront. There's so many abandoned buildings, mm. and they could use a good toy drive in their yeah, neighborhood. Yeah, absolutely. W, thank, thank, thank you so much. We really Thanks. appreciate, your hard, appreciate your, yeah. your hard work. You're a, a yeah. credit to the Valley Fox for sure. Fox 10 has always been one of the most incredible partners, and oh. thank you guys very much. Oh, it's an honor to serve with you. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Uh, and again, uh, they'll need volunteers as well at the end of the month when they leave here, <laughs> wherever they're headed, uh, to kind of pack up these racks and get them moved over to their new location. But again, if you have some warehouse, house space you've got an empty part of your own building and you say yeah you know what i'd like to have cops in and out of there uh every day of the week uh contact them and uh maybe you can be their hero for the next several years for the w stephen martin police yeah. and fire toy drive i mean because you, you get some some business uh pop out of that because you know you're the guy who or the, the person who went up there and, and donated this you can Absolutely. write off the space it's a good right thing. You got police Everybody officers wins, yeah. coming in there, and then you're helping yeah. so many yeah. of these kids. So I hope somebody steps up. Oh, my gosh. The stories, they're amazing. Boy, the, these yeah. officers and firefighters, uh, the, the families they come up against, uh, the hard times that they're able to soothe through this program, it's wonderful. Right. And I'll tell you this. I'll make a promise to somebody out there. If